So it's that time of year again where normally we'd be packing up to go and exhibit at some of the biggest motorcycle shows on planet Earth. And amongst other things, we'd normally be bringing you coverage of the latest and greatest machinery for the following year. Obviously this year is entirely different and we can't be there, but we're still gonna be trying to produce the content that you guys know and love and have come to expect from Knox Armour YouTube channel. So we're gonna kick off with BMW's all new and absolutely mouthwatering M1000RR. So let's get into it. Not content with beating all the competition in the road going superbike sector, BMW have made the gap even wider with their new chart topper, the M1000RR. Built from the same platform as the S1000RR, BMW engineers have taken their critically acclaimed 10 out of 10 machine and made it into an 11. The M1000RR is lighter, faster, is clad with more bling and features winglets for the first time ever on a BMW motorcycle. It looks absolutely incredible. A revised paint scheme, carbon wheels, blue M brakes and a full Akrapovic system are just some of the visual highlights. The M1000RR rolls in at a cool £31,000 in the UK. BMW M cars are synonymous with performance and lead the BMW car lineup. The M1000RR is the first BMW bike to carry that letter at the front of its name. And in the same way that there's an M1, an M2 and an M3 and so on, Perhaps we can expect a new dynasty of high performance BMW motorcycles sooner rather than later. The first thing to note about the M1000RR is that unlike its 68,000 pound HP4 predecessor, it is a road going motorcycle, clearly being presented with registration plates, road going lights and even heated grips. In fact, the M1000RR retains all the road going creature comforts that riders love cruise control, multi-stage heated grips and of course BMW's famous LCD screen. Akin to Ducati's V4R, the M1000RR has been developed to allow race teams to make much better race bikes from stock 1000cc racing right through to world superbikes, taking into consideration all the technical regulations at every level. For example, BMW haven't run wings before on their race bikes due to the homologated model not featuring them. Also the internals of the bike are built to be stronger and lighter and specifically designed to enable a higher state of tune in line with racing regulations. With that in mind, spectators can expect a big push and high expectations in racing performance next year on the main stage. Of course, like any top level BMW motorcycle, the specification list is longer than Gandalf's beard. So in the interests of time, here are a few key highlights for the bike. An increased output to 212 horsepower at a higher revving 14,500 RPM and an unchanged 83 foot-pounds of torque. A reduced weight of 192 kilos at the curb. A 1000cc engine with technical optimizations including new pistons, lighter titanium connecting rods, slimmer and lighter rocker arms and optimized camshafts and some of a fine engine tuning. The M1000RR retains its shift cam technology so riders can expect incredible power right through the rev range. The gearing has also been slightly adjusted with an extra tooth on the rear sprocket making acceleration even faster. A 12mm longer swing arm makes for a slightly longer bike and may enable riders to get that extra power down onto the road. A full Akropovic system is fitted as standard and it looks incredible. There is around a 4kg weight saving to be had with this exhaust. As racers and track riders decap this standard pipe and remap it, the final true output of this bike as a race going bike is going to be very interesting. Winglets have been added which create more downforce in key areas of fast laps. The first area being on acceleration with extra downforce holding that front wheel down allowing you to stay on the throttle and combining with more power for faster acceleration. The other area that the wings are said to improve performance is on later and harder braking making the front tyre more stable. Whether or not this makes any difference to Joe Bloggs on his Sunday afternoon ride out is yet to be seen but Tom Sykes may appreciate the added downforce at 186 miles an hour. 
The M1000RR also features M-Brakes, a Nissin developed system from World Superbikes. The calipers are painted blue and they promise to be the most effective brake system available, with the priority towards reducing brake fade and maximum control. There are also some extra electronics included, plus the quick shifter now has the possibility to alternate between standard and race shift. For an extra £4,000, riders can also purchase the M Competition Package. This features a number of additions, but it includes the activation of a GPS data logger and GPS lap timer, which will be super useful for track day riders out there. Included in that package is BMW's all new endurance chain, which is right up my street as you never need to change it or service it. So while the jury is going to be out on whether the M1000RR is likely to feature on any list of best selling bikes, it will no doubt gain a huge amount of attention for the brand and hopefully spring BMW race teams onto podiums all across the world. However, having seen the amount of money invested in track going machinery in my recent track days, perhaps the M1000RR won't be as rare a sight as you might first imagine.